On this machine, I have plenty of computer controls as well. I have a speed control that will override my foot control so I can slow that down. And this is a really good machine um, for a beginner. Don't let all the computer controls and the stitches you know, overwhelm you. This is a great model for you know any youngster starting out or just a new sewer for that matter because I can slow the machine down until I get accustomed you know, to it being faster and there's going to be times I want to go slower or faster depending on the materials that I'm working with or the part of the garment that I'm in. Uh, another thing that's really nice about this machine, I have needle up and needle down. I can stop the needle into the fabric and this is really nice to have when I'm doing an applique. Let's say for example I'm appliquing a star onto a garment. Well, I want the needle to stop in the fabric when I get to the tip of a star. It's going to make it look so much prettier on top so I can have my fabric into, uh, I can put the needle into the fabric like this and then I can lift my presser foot up and I can turn my corners so much easier. And then of course there's going to be times, most of the time we do want the needle out of the fabric so that I can keep it up out of the way and I don't forget that it's in the fabric and jerk and break a needle or bend a needle. Another thing about the 2013, you do have the auto lock feature. The auto lock feature uh, is nice to have because of what it does is it ties the stitch off for me underneath. So when I get to the end of my seam, my garment, wherever that I'm going to lock that in, instead of using reverse and seeing that back tack on top, I can hit auto lock and it ties the stitch off in the very last needle hole that's penetrated into the garment and ties it off underneath, out of sight, and the stitch is going to stay in. On the machine up here, it's really easy for me to adjust the stitch length, the stitch width, and also dial my stitches up. And we're going to show you a close-up view in just a minute on how and what all the stitches are on this machine. Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Ken Sewing Center. Today I want to talk to you about the Janome DC2013. Now the DC2013 is a current production model by Janome, and we have brought this machine uh, back into the lineup because it's very versatile and what you can do is a very good quality machine. We've sold literally hundreds and hundreds of this particular model. It meets a lot of needs uh, in that you've got 50 of the most popular stitches built in on this machine. You will have the uh, all metal working parts. It's got a large uh, motor in it. It's just going to be able to handle uh, thicker materials like your quilting or several ply of denim, hemming pants. You can sew on garment grade leather with this machine. On the machine you will have the horizontal spool pin and everything is channeled all the way down to the needle. We do have a built-in needle threader to thread our needle for us. I do like the fact we got extra high lift under the presser foot. And on our feed dogs, this is a seven point feed dog system. And I know it's hard to see in the video, but what that means is I have seven different places my fabric is touching the feed dogs. When I get to thinner and lighter weight materials, that's really a plus because I can feed that fabric through and the likelihood of it puckering is going to be uh, very, very greatly reduced. I will have the top drop-in bobbin on this machine. I can see how much bobbin thread I have in the machine at any given time. It's very easy for us to thread the bobbin. You do have a free arm uh, built into the machine, and I will have drop feed on this machine as well for, so for my free motion embroidery, free motion stippling, if I'm just darning a hole. Uh, putting on a button, so on and so forth. One thing I do like about the accessory tray on this machine is the lever folds out toward you so I can put all my accessories and keep them all nicely and neatly organized. I have a little bit uh, extra uh, workspace right here for my sewing. All my needle uh, plate has markings on it and I do have a place here that I can put a seam guide. We do carry the seam guides, just screws right in here. I can measure off from my needle uh, seam allowance, screw that down and lock it. It's a really long seam guide that I can keep everything straight. The 2013 has a wide variety of built-in stitches that I can adjust the stitch length and the stitch width on. Of course, we're going to have our straight stitch here. We have a left needle position straight stitch for putting in zippers or for putting in cording or piping. Then I'll have a mimic of a hand quilting stitch. I do have several styles of one-step buttonhole that's built in. Now, the machine does come with the automatic one-step buttonhole foot, and we'll show you how that's used in just a second. But I have the rounded end, I have the keyhole, and then I have our standard. I will have a stretch buttonhole that's built in as well. And then of course I have my zigzag stitches, my elastic stitch. I have some overcasting stitches here. 
I have some blind hem stitches here. This stitch here is a stretch straight stitch. If I'm doing working with knits, uh, it will sew two stitches forward and one in reverse. It automatically back tacks the stitch for me. Then I'll have some decorative stitches that are built in on the machine. And this here, a lot of people have really liked it. You have built in applique stitches, left tack and right tack appliques. These are thicker, meaning it'll sew two stitches and then two stitches over to the left, making it a thicker one. These are thinner. I can adjust the width of my tacks here and I can adjust the length between the tacks here. I will have some, another overcasting stitch here, and then I have some quilting stitches, some heirloom stitches. You get a wingtip needle that makes a pretty heirloom stitch. Then I have some more decorative ladder and scalloping stitches down here. If you'll notice, I have letters here below the stitches. All the Janome feet will have letters indented onto them, and that's recommending to you which presser foot you need to have on the machine. Of course, you can always call us anytime you have questions on what foot do I need to use for what stitch or what attachment do I need for a certain application. The machine does come with a huge assortment of standard accessories, and Ken Sewing Center carries all the optional accessories for the machine. We can help you over the phone or if you come in the store, show you how to use them and show you anything that you want to know about this machine. So do not hesitate to call us with any question that this video does not cover or the description on our website. We'll be glad to help you anytime. Show you how easy it is to do a buttonhole on the machine. When I get ready, I can I'll lower my presser foot. And I, there's a lever that's recessed up behind my needle threader. I pull it down right before this first tab. If you'll notice on the front of the, the um, buttonhole foot, there's these little tabs here. That's for running cording underneath the foot. If I want to do a corded buttonhole, I can do that on this machine. It raises the stitches up, makes a really pronounced buttonhole you know, on the machine, uh, with this particular machine rather. Now all I do is push the foot control and I'm ready to go. So I have it on stitch number eight, which is a key, uh, key style buttonhole. And I let the machine do the work. I just keep my foot on the foot control it's going to sew down the left hand side, it'll do the bar tag and it goes down the right hand side and when it gets to the very end and finishes the buttonhole, it ties the stitch off underneath for me, so it's going to stay in. Super easy to do buttonholes on this machine. When I'm finished, I'll just take my foot off, get me a seam ripper and I'm ready to go. I want to show you just how tough this machine is. We sell this machine a lot to quilters and garment sewers a lot uh, because the machine has a heavy duty motor in it. It will handle several ply of denim or if you're quilting. Right here we're using eight ply of denim and I'm going to show you if we raise our presser foot up, I have extra high lift on the presser foot so I can get those thicker materials underneath or if I'm quilting or whatever the garment may be, I've got that range of flexibility. So I can get up underneath there and I have plenty of feed dogs that's touching the material to get and feed that thicker material without having to worry about putting a walking foot on the machine. And now as I begin sewing, notice how it glides through there just so easily. And then I'm gonna put this stretch piece of material because I wanna show you how easy and wide range a uh, function of our tension system that's on the machine. You don't have to worry about fabrics puckering on this machine because the tension system is so easy to work with. And I'm sewing through eight ply denim to stretchy material all the way down to a cotton material. And then I'm gonna put a piece of this nylon at the very end, just to show you. I only had a little scrap of it left, but I wanna show you just how easy and how it will feed through all this fabric, all the way from extreme heavy to extremely thin. You just can't find that, folks, on most machines nowadays. For the price this machine is, all the features, and now we're going to show you all the accessories that you're going to get with it. The 2013 is loaded with standard accessories. You just will not find a machine in this price range that has all the standard accessories you'll see. Plus, if you'll notice, uh, on the website, we do are including a bonus kit right now. 
that you can take advantage of. If you live within the lower 48 United States, shipping is also free, but you will get the vertical spool pen. This comes with the machine, and this allows us to do twin needle sewing, or if we're working with a uh, bigger uh, spool of thread, we're able to put that on the machine. You will get the one-step buttonhole foot. You do get the even feed foot, and that's for you quilters or sewing with heavier materials. That is a $60 attachment that'll be included. You do get the quarter inch seam guide foot. You'll get a zipper foot, the adjustable blind hem foot. You'll get an overcasting foot, satin stitch foot. Of course, there's extra needles and bobbins and seam rippers and spool caps and screwdrivers that'll come with the machine. We do give you free, toll-free customer support for the life that you own the machine. All you have to do is give us a call Monday through Saturday. There'll be somebody there to help you if you have a, a question on how to use the machine or you feel like you're having a problem with your machine, you can always call us as well. We have plenty of technicians standing by to help you anytime. So do not hesitate to give us a call if you have any questions about the 2013 or any other Janome machine.